Well, we've reached day 15 in our Chardonnay wine kit, and I'm really excited because we're going to be doing just a few things that are really important today. We're going to add another fining ingredient, which is chitosan, to pull more sediment out of that wine. We're also going to add those oak cubes, which is going to add a dimension to this Chardonnay that will make it fantastic. So we'll also wait for about five days in between. So we're going to do that work first, then we're going to wait for five days and we're going to give that carboy a little bit of a twist and you're going to see some of the sediment that's attached to the sides of the carboy. You're going to see that fall. So that's going to be kind of cool to do as well. So I'm really excited. This is going to be a good uh, video. I hope you're able to stick through it. It shouldn't last too long, not like the last one. This should be a little faster uh, to get through, but we've got some good stuff going on. So thank you for joining. The next we're going to go through our instructions for what we're going to accomplish in today's video. We've just completed step two. Now we're on to step three. Day 15 clearing. 3.1 we don't have a reserve packet so we won't be adding that. 3.2 we will add the chitosan. 3.3 we don't have a second case of salt, so we won't be adding that. 3.4 we will be adding the oak cubes and stirring those in. 3.5, we will replace the airlock and let the wine sit for at least five days. Okay, it's been a little over 24 hours and we're now in step three, which is on or about day 15 and we're in the clearing process. We're gonna skip right to stirring in the chitosan now here's your chitosan package. So I'm going to cut the, the end off of this and pour it in. Some of the particles that are in the wine, because now you have wine, they'll bind to some of those particles and bring them down to the bottom as sediment. Now putting the oak cubes in can be a little difficult. You can't do it with the spoon still in there. But if, you, if you're if you careful, you can make sure. And I always cut my hand around the, the top of this so that if any of the oak cubes do kind of spill, they'll, they'll spill into my hand. Uh, and we're just going to, we're just going to shake those in. All right. Now I'm going to get my spoon. I'm going to mix those in. I rinsed my spoon off again because I had to put it down. And you don't want this exposed to air. You want to keep this, uh, keep this um, capped with, with a, uh, an airlock so that no air gets in. We're going to allow this. This will form a little headroom of carbon dioxide, and that's perfectly fine. And that is what's going to stop this wine from oxidizing. So we're going to do that up next. All right, now I've washed out the airlock, cleaned it, sanitized it, and I put solution in. Basically what I do is I put the little cap in, put water in it, and then I put a squirt of metabisulfite. First things first, look at how clear it is becoming. This is, this is amazing. Five days later, and it's gotten very, very clear. Now, I'm going to bring this closer so that you can, you can really see the sediment that's clinging to the sides. And you can also see some of those, some of those oak cubes have fallen to the bottom, which is a good thing. Now, it's really important. You don't get a lot of, a lot of retakes of this. So what I've done is I've zoomed in as best I could brought the lights as close as I can, and you should be able to see the sediment in here. It's, it's sticking to the side. And I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a twist, and you should see it begin to fall. You might do this a couple of times, but here we go. All right, you see that? See that there? That's the sediment starting to fall. So it's come loose from the side. I'm gonna do it just a couple more times. You 
And you see, you even see some of the cubes beginning to fall. Do you see that? I think it might be faint on, on the video. I'm trying to get it a little closer. It's been only a few minutes and you can see that that sediment is falling to the bottom of the carboy. And we will revisit this in another video. That video will be devoted to, to racking, filtering, and bottling the wine. So look forward to that. Well, we've just completed step 3.6 for clearing. Now we still have 3.7 which means that we have to wait until day 54 before we can proceed. Well, you've made it through day 15, the clearing day. This was a short video where what we did was we added the chitosan and then we added the oak cubes as well. But you can really see this wine starting to come together, can't you? So now what we're doing is we're setting up for day 54. Now day 54 is pivotal because on that day, we're gonna determine, are we going to filter the wine or are we just gonna bottle the wine out of the carboy? And that all depends on when you think you're gonna consume that wine. We'll talk about that later. But before we go, I wanna make sure that you remember, have a glass of wine today. And remember, soon, it could be your wine that you have made. Cheers.